one of the outputs from your GPS is the latitude and longitude. That latitude and longitude of the GPS output can be plotted on a nautical chart. The navigator is then able to see his boat's position in relation to the navigational hazards nearby. He is also able to see his boat's position in relation the intended course line and his last plotted position. He can then adjust his course, as required. We put lines on the nautical chart where the line of latitude from the GPS and line of longitude from the GPS intersect. The lines of latitude and longitude are position lines, and where they intersect is a position fix. There are other types of position lines. The boat is wherever two or three position lines intersect. This slide shows us one of the most reliable position lines, the transit. This is when a navigator sees two fixed objects in a line. If the objects are on the nautical chart, we can put a bearing value on the transit. Another type of position line is the compass bearing. This is similar to a transit, but one of the inline objects is the compass itself, with its graduated compass card. Here we see a boat on a northwestern heading and she uses the compass to take a bearing of an oil rig. If the oil rig is on the nautical chart, the navigator has a position line. The sextant is a device mariners have been using to measure angles for centuries. The sextant or compass can be used to measure the horizontal angle between charted landmarks. And a position line, showing the observer's distance off from the landmarks, can be calculated. The sextant can be used to measure the vertical angle between the top and the base of charted landmarks and a position line, showing the observer's distance off, can be calculated. So far, we have looked to terrestrial objects for position lines. The Nautical Almanac is a publication describing the positions of a selection of celestial bodies for the purpose of enabling navigators to use celestial navigation to calculate the ship position with the traditional method of the celestial navigation in conjunction with using a sextant. When we use a sextant with celestial bodies, sun, moon, stars and planets, we are measuring the angle between the body and the horizon at a particular time. So the horizon must be visible when using a sextant. We obviously do not see stars during the day, so star sights are done at sunrise and sunset. A position line is usually, either the direction of an object from us or the distance we are away from an object. So, for a directional position line, we know we are on the line, but that is all. A distance position line just tells us we are on the circle connecting all points that distance from object, but that is all. However, where two or more position lines intersect is called a position fix. The slide shows the boat has two directional, transit position lines. On this slide, they have used two horizontal sextant angles to get a position fix where the two distance off position lines intersect. Here the navigator has used two compass bearing and a transit position lines to make a position fix. Navigators use spherical trigonometry to calculate position lines. At sunrise and sunset, the navigator can take sights of multiple stars and planets, calculate multiple position lines and generate a position fix. The position fix on the nautical chart from the latitude and longitude display of GPS follows the same principle of position lines. Your GPS receiver uses direction and distance information from multiple satellites and calculates the antenna's position and displays that in latitude and longitude. The satellites are artificial celestial bodies and the receiver can do more calculations faster than we ever can. We get the convenience simply looking at a screen and plotting two short lines to know where we are, in any condition of visibility or time of day.